Hello everybody, it's Aaron back from Screen Stars and I'm here once again to do another review for Geek Legion of Doom and today I am reviewing the um, <laughs> surreal horror thriller The God Inside My Ear a film that is directed by Joe Baddon and is a very very difficult film to review it really really is because I'm not sure I've seen anything like this before um, it describes itself as a surreal art house horror thriller. Um, IMDB has it down as a sci-fi. So by by that you can gather that this film is a lot of things um, to a lot of people really. And, and depending on what you see when you watch it you'll see different things. And this film essentially focuses on um, a young character, a young girl, who... Uh, right at the beginning of the movie you see that she breaks up with her boyfriend and the reason she's breaking up with her boyfriend I think after three years together is because he's going a different direction in his life he's, he's, he's having tattoos of ears on his hands and things and he seems to have joined some kind of strange cult um, she doesn't take this news well and she kind of sends her spiralling into um, a pit of depression and her mental health takes a turn for the worse but what you don't understand what you aren't sure when you're watching this movie is is this basically a story of a girl's mental health unraveling in front of you or is there something more horrific and sinister going on um, and that's the hook of this movie because I've got to tell you guys this film is a bit bloody bonkers. Um, it's visual style. It, it almost feels like a cross between a Cronenberg and a, uh, and, um, a, a David Lynch film. It almost feels like a, you know, a ch if, if those two guys made a movie and it had a child, this would be it. it. It's got a real unique feel to it, this movie. It's very psychedelic. Very art house is a good description. It is very art house, and I could imagine film students sitting down with notebooks and analysing this film for weeks on end in regards to the meaning of some of the visions that she has in this movie and some of the things that happen to her in this movie. What are the meanings behind all of this? But the very core of this movie essentially is, for the most part, is the the mental health of this young girl. Um, unraveling in front of you and tr you're trying to determine and she's trying to determine is she going mad um, or is there something else sinister at play here because she's seen some pretty nasty things um, and there's <laughs> there's things talking to her she's, she's receiving strange phone calls for a start from um, the telemarketing guy uh, let's be honest though I mean the majority of us, if we if we receive a phone call from a sales rep or a telemarketing guy, you, you know, you immediately hang up. Um, but she doesn't, certainly not the first time, and then he keeps contacting her. So there's, there's something sinister going on there with this telemarketing guy constantly phoning her up. Um, she keeps having these weird visions and weird dreams. Um, and, th <laughs> and then um, there's a couple of things in the film that, genuine I really really loved there's a scene where the neighbor's dog starts talking to her um, and it, it completely threw me off it was it was hilarious but in a good way because the voice of this dog was just wonderful it, it was it sounded like Pee Wee Herman or something um, and she's having a conversation with this dog and then she starts having conversations with garden gnomes and you just kind of think what am I watching at this point you know it re it blows your mind some of the stuff that happens in this movie um, so it's very ambitious in what it's trying to do with this film I think ultimately it's ambition kind of kills it to a degree because I think it's a bit over ambitious at times it kind of over the overwrite this movie and the kind of overthink it because the premise is actually quite simple if you break it all down and strip it all away all this psychedelic stuff um, the premise is actually quite simple um, but 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 I have to say at times this movie was very very intriguing to watch 
um, and at times it was also very frustrating to watch because you just didn't have a clue what was going on at times I mean there's also there's a scene in the film as well where she's really she's t she's opening up to her friends and saying I'm really I'm broken here guys what what shall I do and one of her friends actually suggests to her that she takes hallucinogenic drugs because it helped them at one point in their life and she agrees and I'm just thinking the last thing this film needs is you know um, the main character taking drugs because she's already having really psychedelic visions and stuff and it, it takes it to another level then um, ultimately though I think the ending kind of was a, a little bit of a letdown for me it kind of built it up and built it up and built it up and then the ending kind of just kind of like felt a bit rushed and it felt a bit predictable um, and uh, it didn't kind of make an awful lot of sense to me the ending because the, uh, it, uh, I just don't think it worked the ending personally the acting that we got on board here I think for the most part is pretty decent um, you can tell it's fairly low budget there are a couple of dodgy performances but um, the main performance let me see what she called Linnea Gregg I think she does a decent job here I mean it's almost I would suggest an actor's dream this part because there's so much interpretation in the part. It's, it's probably a really, really good role for her, and in, in for probably the start of her career, because she has to do some pretty bonkers stuff in this film, um, and it probably helped her a lot in regards to her acting process. I'm guessing. So yeah, guys, this is an odd movie. I'm not going to deny it. It's an odd movie. Um, over ambitious. Some of it works. Some of it doesn't. Um, pretty psychedelic but I promise you you won't have seen anything like this for quite some time and I do applaud them for trying something a bit different and trying um, to be a bit original and creative in what they're giving you on screen um, ultimately I think it kind of falls short but there is something pretty interesting going on with this movie guys so it's a 6 out of 10 for me um, and this is the kind of movie I think that if this was a, a Denis Villeneuve movie or Sarah Cronenberg um, or David Lynch movie it'd get a lot of attention I'm guessing from you know art house film critics so I do applaud you guys for trying something different so thanks for watching everybody